When it comes down to Discover, you do not have to pay your full balance every day. I just tell people to just make sure that you pay your full balance if you want to pay, at least pay your statement balance by your due date or pay a few days before your due date. If you get to the point with Discover where you're making multiple payments, they're going to put a hold on that money anyway. So you're not going to be able to use your card. Usually you make a payment, the next day the money is going to be available. When you do multiple payments within a short period of time with Discover, they're going to wait a long time to let that money be available. It just seems so scammy and risky. So just wait until a few days before your due date. You can pay off your full balance there, or you can just pay off your statement balance at that time. And then on your due date, you can pay off the remaining amount if that's what you want to do. But do not go ahead and make like a lot of payments every day. You don't necessarily have to do that. Just if you want to work on your utilization, just by your due date, you can keep that statement balance down. Just guaranteed by that due date so that you don't pay any interest. Now, what my, when it comes down to me personally, on my accounts, what I like to do is by the statement of like, like today, my Navy Federal balance, my um, balance is due. I'm going to make sure that my full statement balance is paid off. So I'm going to go ahead and pay whatever amount that I have to pay on my statement balance today. But I actually use way more than a statement balance on my credit card. So I'm going to make that payment today and then maybe tomorrow or even today I could. I'm going to pay off whatever I'm going to pay off so that it can have a lower utilization. I know at least like today is the 14th. I know at least by the, the 19th is when they're going to report for me. So I'm going to make sure that by the 17th, I have it paid down. 17, 18, I'm going to pay whatever I'm going to pay so that my utilization is reported very, very low. And then I'm not going to use that credit card again until the 20th because I already know they reported to the credit bureau by then. I got that low utilization. I can max it out if I want to. It's not going to affect my credit score. So I'm going to wait until after the 19th, which is the 20th, because I want to be safe. I want to make sure. So I had problems with that before thinking they reported and they didn't. And then they report a large balance. On the 20th, I'm going to go ahead and use that credit card again. But I do not make multiple payments, probably because I have a higher limit too, and I'm not using too much on my credit cards. But I'm just going to make sure that I pay my statement balance by my due date so I don't be charged any interest. And then at least uh Two days before my statement date, which my statement date is going to be on the 19th, by the 17th, I want to pay off any remaining amount that I'm going to pay. So I technically got three more days to pay any remaining amount that I want to pay. I can technically pay it all today, but I'm going to wait so I can have those two payments. I'm going to go wait the three days because I want to pay off another credit card too. So I just, this is just how I have it um, shifted. And today technically is Tuesday. So on Friday, I'm going to just go ahead and pay off the, re the rest of it. But it's going to be dependent on, you know, what you guys have available um, in terms of your funds. But just make sure that you guys are paying your statement balance by your due date so you guys are not being charged any extra interest. And that's just what I'm doing. You guys can do whatever you want. I just want to make sure I don't be charged any interest. And I know just paying every day, the same going to get it like that. That's not going to work. So I just make sure by the due date, I pay my statement balance and then I pay any remaining amount of like two or three days after my due date, depending on your credit card. And definitely two days before my statement date. That's the day I like to really go off of. Two days before then, I make sure I pay whatever I want to pay to make sure I have that low utilization.